a former senior official in, in petroleum companies, how have you seen oil companies now reacting to this, and how, it, how has the Deepwater Horizon incident affected their strategies moving forward? Yeah, the first is on the issue of risk, right? So they've reassessed risk because the capability of cleaning up a spill of this size is enormous, and the costs are enormous. You have to get it right the first time. Now, everyone on the panel agreed that containment policies are stuck in the 1980s. Yes. Why is that? Because, in part, we had such overconfidence in things like blowout preventers. We haven't had an accident like this since 1979 Ixtoc. The, the issue in Australia a year ago was a shallower well with faulty equipment. Um, the, inf the industry has drilled 14,000 of these wells with not a lot of incidents, so I think there was overconfidence. Now, how soon do you think we'll see more drilling in the Gulf now that the drilling moratorium has been lifted? So I think we'll see a different kind of drilling in the Gulf. I think the administration will look to uh, open up opportunities to keep those rigs in the Gulf, whether it's work over wells or uh, completion wells in some cases. I don't think you're going to see new exploratory drilling in the deep water until the, at least January and maybe further into next year. Mr. Sharp, as a longtime member of Congress, explain to us the role Congress now plays in mitigating the fallout of the Deepwater Horizon incident. Well, first of all, Congress is somewhat all over the lot. Some of the work they're doing is very important. Some of it's so much for show. And there's a difference between the people who are the workhorses and the show horses in Congress. And most citizens can see that. But there is valuable work to be done to try to figure out how we might organize things in the future on the regulatory side, on how to keep the, uh, uh, the, the cleanup systems working, how to keep our industry accountable. That's serious work that needs to be done. And Congress has a role to play in it. There are other issues as well. And votes on the energy and climate bill, what happens next? What do you think? Well, the, we may even hear things yet this week to tell us how far they're going to go. I don't think there's any question there will be an effort to do something that is related to the spill and to add to it some other energy provisions. Whether that will expand to really be a full-fledged, comprehensive energy climate bill, I suspect it won't be that big. I, I think politically that's too difficult. And final question, as for the President's Commission to investigate the oil spill, yes. what sort of recommendations do you hope to see come out of that commission? Well, I haven't had a chance to really think that through, except in one regard. I think there is room for the to get a private regulatory system set up among the uh, the, the uh, drillers, and this is in addition to federal regulation, not in substitute for it, in, in which it works on the questions of, of how do you clean up. It works on the questions of uh, if you get an accident, how do you quickly get all the experts together uh, to work on that particular accident? Uh, how do you, there are some issues of liability that have to be overcome to make that kind of system work, and, uh, and I think that's one useful place for them to focus. Great. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you.